All right, guys, so check this out. Here's a new Garrett exhaust housing. Yeah, buddy. Very, Stainless steel. Very nice. Where's the wheel at? There it is. Nine blade Nine. instead of 10 blade. Look at that. So let's uh, go ahead, tear everything open to get to this install. First up, we're going to remove the intake. Yes. Yeah, intake, battery box, battery tray, all of that. You guys know the deal. Let's get access to that bad boy back there. Let's get all those axle bolts out. Yeah, but axle's out. Take off all the uh, T25s from here. Take off this wheel liner and we will continue. All right guys, making good progress here. We got the exhaust loosened up in the back. Gonna move these uh, 13 mils, um, the bracket underneath. And then we're just gonna use an adjustable wrench to take off these uh, O2 sensors, good to go. All right, exhaust is out. Now it's time to drain the coolant. All right, here we go. Watch out. Oh, there it is. Gotta take out these coolant and oil lines. This the oil feed. Yep. That's the oil drain. There you go. All right, we got another update here. Just a few more uh, of the manifold bolts loose. Here we go, boys. It's about that time, it's about that time. Oh, shit. All right, guys, so here we are once again. Turbo is out. Gonna separate the exhaust housing, get a new exhaust housing on there. Show you guys the uh, removal of the turbine. This one's hard to get. I need that milk to milk the mouse. You need that mouse milk to get that oil feed line off. Yeah, it's cold as fuck, guys. Ooh, there you go. Let's get that coolant line out of there. My wastegate bracket's still working good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, that's custom made. Oh yeah. By custom, Darren. Like Darren two built. seconds. All right. Next up, wastegate brackets. Move that. Thirteen mils on that. There you go. Manifold is off. We are left with this Mamba housing. If you guys remember from the last video. So here we are once again. What's next, Darren? What's next? Take off the housings. So we just got through, loosened up all of these bolts right here. All right there. I'm pretty sure I have another O-ring, but I'll just keep that there. Just okay, got the O-ring, housing. Here's our wheel. Oh no, we got a lot more to do first. A lot take more to these do. off. Garrett, brand new Garrett. Yeah, you can see up here pieces broke off too. Yeah, there was definitely some contact in there. Yeah, somehow, for some reason. It... Some uh, wheel contact. Probably because I'm running 40 pounds of boost on a small SL turbo. Boost! Looks thinner than this. Probably because it's a nine blade. This, this is a 10 blade. So this has one less blade, so it flows better up it. it sh I mean, it, it might spool like a millisecond slower. Mm hmm but um, it's gonna have better flow at the top end. So there hopefully, which means less heat. Get this bearing. That, pop that off. Nice. Inner working, it's right here. Yep. This is the oil restrictor. See that little hole right there? That's fucking crazy. That's where the oil comes out of. The bearing cage should just fall out. Oh, there we Boom. go. Look how hot that shit got though, bro. That's crazy. It's not supposed to be discolored like that. But you see how it's dull ball bearing is because this side can spin and this side stays still. Or this side can spin yeah. and this side stays still. I see that. And these little grooves are where the bearings ride. And this piece right here that's flopping around is the oil seal. 
So when it's pushed in there, it squeezes down like that, and then no oil can get through. It's over the parts washer, and like wash it out. That's that new bearing right there. And that lubed up. Looks like I just, you know, jacked off on my hands. <gasps> Paint marker, lining that up with that hole right there. Just pressing that bearing down. I think it's all the way in. It's just pressing down the oil restrictor towards the turbine side. Anytime you put an O-ring on, you gotta make sure it's not twisted. Okay, and this fucker. It has to go on. There we go. Yeah, that helped a lot. All right, so you want to grab one side and twist it down. Bit. Okay, I think we're good. Look at that. And if whatever, even if it's not all the way down, when we put the nut on it, all up. Mm -hmm. Spins good. Got to torque down. All right, that, there we go. There we go. There we go. And? Compressor side is on, mating it up to the exhaust uh, turbine, uh, the exhaust side. Getting the manifold back on and all those lines right there. Yep, forgot about those. Invention's reassembled, ready to go back on the car.